Uh, what's the difference for Do you get inspired by that? Um, I haven't, but I can yes. see kind of where you're coming from. Yeah, so yeah. the dresses and that retro yeah. aspect of everything. It's kind of a little I was funny. living uh, for those. Oh, yeah? Okay, so, well, thank what you. What was the inspiration behind that structure and retro look to that uh, um, area? So, um, I don't know, for summer, I think that just easy, breezy dresses yes. kind of work for everybody, and I just wanted to kind of keep that. So, my stylist and I worked, and we developed this like, long one that was going to be the end shop one, so it kind of just, you know, like, I don't know, as the creative process goes, yes. spirals, so. One of my photographers is in, I don't know if it's in the dress or the model, oh, I'm not sure, <laughs> maybe it's both. Both, well, probably, right? <laughs> yes. and um, the colors, the colors, I'm a great, I've got big kind of colors, I love yellow. Thank you. I have amazing yellow, it's my but you had orange. I know, but we should have more color in the runway yes. period. Yes, yeah, it's a big suit, fan. I saw a suit structured with soft on the top and the heart on the bottom, and it was orange. I remember pieces, because yeah. of the time that I see them, right? <laughs> what was the, the motivation behind that, inspiration behind that suit? Um, so, my inspiration was Canadian Sunset. Ooh. So, yeah, so I kind of started off with the orange and the blue, mm -hmm. and then my mother actually does all my prints for me. She's not out here, but she's around. No, I'm looking at the Oh, yeah, so she actually hand-painted this um, herself. Really? Yeah, so she kind of helps me out. We kind of work together. And oh, my God. That was Margaret, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's a realist painter, so she's really good at this. about creativity. Yeah. Hi, models. <laughs> and the jewelry, is that your line too? No, my sister and I own a jewelry store, so that's from Family. here. Family. We buy another designer. That's so manual. Yeah. That's why you're so happy. You can see it in your clothing, all the colors that you use. The white. Vibrant. The, yes. <laughs> and the soft and the hard. And you're, you're feminine, but with that retro aspect of just being looking good. Awesome. And they transcend two centuries. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. that's great. What else would you like? What would you say to a new model or a new designer coming up in the Toronto um, fashion industry? Yeah. Um, stick with it. Stick with it? Yeah. What do you mean stick with it? Is it hard? It's hard. It's extremely hard. And you know, you, the seasons are so far apart, six months, that like you hear, you get these victories and they come in these kind of six month periods. And but what, 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 what do you think we can change to have it more uh, predominant in Toronto? Like, so we, we as models can get more jobs throughout the year. And I think that um, I have one good idea that I'm working on right now. It's called Fashion Inspector, where I come to the fashion shows and I do a little, um, when I see outfits of uh, bloggers or anyone, I showcase on them. Do you think that's a good step? Or? Yeah, I think even like getting people who want to dress more fashionable out in the world, yeah, they're going to buy stuff. It's exactly. You know, great. Yeah. And then you can do uh, private runway shows in Toronto way right. more often, right? Right, exactly. Okay, so do more nice you, you too. Thanks for coming. Oh, it's my pleasure. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and then we have photo ops.